After parting ways with Thomas Tuchel and replacing him with Vincent Company, Bayern Munich are cruising right now as they sit top of the Bundesliga table without losing a game. With some of the greats like Thomas Muller, Robin, Frank Ribery, Manuel Neuer and Philip Lahm all playing for them, Bayern Munich are arguably the biggest club in German football. Having won the Bundesliga a total of 32 times and the Champions League 6 times. We will be looking to add to that insane record in today's rebuild but there is going to be a twist in this rebuild. Bayern Munich have been given a minimum 5 year ban from signing and fielding non-German players. So in today's rebuild, we are only allowed to sign and use German players if we want to keep the success running at this historic club. So let's dive into this German-only rebuild with Bayern Munich. Make sure to leave a like on the video, comment any teams you want me to rebuild in future videos, and subscribe if you're new around here. Without further ado, let's dive in to Season 1. In this Bayern Munich rebuild, we're going to go with the Tick Attacker Tactical Preset. And we're going to be playing the 4-2-3-1 formation. But we are starting off, guys, by selling every player that is not a German national. Harry Kane, Komen, Kim Mee Jae, Lehmer, Alfonso Davies, Umpa Meccano, Tel Guerrero, Stanisic and Peretz have all left Bayern Munich. And as you can see, we have £461 million pounds to spend. Now, obviously, I'm not going to spend that all in Season 1, but we do now need to go out and buy a whole new squad for this rebuild. Because as you can see, this team is not actually fully German yet. And when I go to the bench, this is the only players we have left in the club. We don't even have any reserve players. So we're going to have to go out there and buy some more German players for this squad. We've still got a couple of players to sell as well. But we have got a lot of money to spend and we need to improve on a lot of positions to get a full German team. We have made our first signing of this German-only rebuild with SC Bayern Munich. It is going to be a new goalkeeper coming into the club. Jonas Erbig has come in for £16.2 million. And he will be in the squad for next season. I think for now, he's just going to be a backup goalkeeper because Neuer probably got one more season in him. But as you can see, he is now 38 years old. So I don't think he's going to be playing for us much after this season. So Erbig is going to be our future goalkeeper. He's only 20 years of age. Really happy of him. 74 overall already. And once Neuer is done, he will be our number one goalkeeper for this rebuild. Next signing is here, guys. And it's going to be a new centre-back for Bayern Munich. Coming in from Inter Milan, it is Bissek. Now, he is obviously known for being a beast in FIFA Ultimate Team. Today, he joins Bayern Munich in Carimo for £24 million. The 23-year-old is going to go straight into the centre-back role. 77 overall. Really happy of him. And we now need to go out and get him a centre-back partner. We have gone and got Bissek's centre-back partner in Schlotterbeck. He is joining from Borussia Dortmund, one of the best players in this league for the centre-back role. Schlotterbeck joins for £83.9 million from Dortmund. Him and Bissek, I think, are going to be a really good partnership. As you can see, they're both really young, 23 and 24. They're going to be here as the duo for a long time, which I'm really happy about. I've decided to go out and get a new holding midfielder. He's probably going to be sitting on the bench for us this season, but he is fairly young, so he will be kind of coming into the team in the future. And it is still air from Stuttgart for £21.1 million. The 23-year-old comes in as centre midfield coverage for for Pavlovich and co. I've also gone out and got a backup centre attacker mid for Jamal Musiala. Ruda has joined for £21.5 million from Brighton. Like I said, he will be a backup. He's only 20 years of age, 74 overall. I mean, we've got Musiala. He's going to be the best player in the team for a very long time. It's nice just to have some backup players because obviously the squad is very low at the moment in terms of the number of players. But Ruda has joined from Brighton for £21.5 million. I've gone out and signed another centre-back, guys, because we do need to have a backup centre back because otherwise we can't rely on the two centre backs Schlotterbeck and Bissek the whole season. Jordan Beya has come in for £10.7 million from Burnley. 24 years of age, 76 overall. German centre back is going to be one of the backup centre backs for us in this rebuild. I've just gone out and signed a new left back because we didn't actually have a German left back already at the club. Luca Netz comes in from Mudge and Gladbach for £10 million. We have made another signing, guys. Adiemi has joined from Dortmund. He is going to be playing left midfield for us. Obviously, we have Nabry out there at the moment, but they're going to rotate between each other. I think he's going to be a really good option to have as a backup, and he can also play up front. £57.9 million, 22 years of age. Obviously, he is a left midfielder, but I'm going to try and convert him to a striker with that pace up top. I think he's going to be a really good asset for Bayern Munich. We've also gone out and got a backup right midfielder. Obviously, we do have Leroy Sane, who's actually really, really good in this game game we needed a backup we needed some squad depth because we don't really have much german players left at the club ansgar knuff 
has come in for 30 million from Frankfurt. 30 million pounds, 22 years of age, 76 overall, 91 pace. So we've got a lot of pace on these wings. He comes in as a backup. We needed a new backup player and he has joined for 13 million. Maximilian Bayer has come in for 34.2 million pounds from Dortmund. He will be our new striker, 21 years of age, 78 overall, 89 pace, 34.2 million pounds spent on him. I'm really looking forward to using him. He's only 21, 78 overall. He's going to be the number nine for us this season. We're going to try and see what he can provide for us. Hopefully a lot of goals. He's got a lot of good players around him, so I'm really sure he'll do well. I also wanted to add that we have set up the youth scout to go around Germany to try and find our next best player. I feel like it's a good opportunity to try and use the youth academy and bring through these youth players, these young German players that are going to be good enough, hopefully for us. So we're just going to get a load of them into the first team to try and progress them and make them insane players like Musiala. So that is what we have done. We've set them up for nine months. We've looked for a centre-back, striker, left-back and central midfielder. So then guys, the transfer window is over now and we have finally got our German squad for this Bayern Munich rebuild. Neuer will be in goal for us. I think this will be his last season. He is 85 overall. 38 years of age. I think it's going to be his last season with us. Unfortunately, I won't be renewing his contract. We have Kimmich, Bissek, Schlotterbeck, and Nets as the bat line. Really happy with how this bat line looks. Kimmich with the experience. Schlotterbeck is really, really good already. And then we've got the youngsters, Nets and Bissek as well. Pavlovich, I've used him a lot on career mode already this year. He is absolutely fantastic. And he does turn into an absolute monster in the seasons to come. So I'm really excited to have him already in the squad. And Goretzka, 29. Got the experience in the midfield to play with the youngster Pavlovich. Nabry on the left, 29 years of age. We could actually start Adiemi. I'm probably going to rotate between both of them. Sane out on the right, 85 overall. Still got that 90 pace. Really keen on using him with the four-star skills as well. Musiala, 87 overall, 21. He's going to be our best player probably throughout the whole rebuild. I'm really excited to have him in the squad because we know how good he is in real life. And we also have Bayer up top, the youngster, 89 pace, 21 years of age from Dortmund. I think he's going to be a really good asset for us in the years to come. What I also did was really cool everyone that was on a loan that was German from their loans we've got a lot of players on the bench that are from back from their loans and in the reserves as well obviously now we've got a big squad before I was a bit worried because we only had literally the bench and no reserves but now the squad is packed with German players Martin one of our youth players we just scouted and got and he's already 63 overall for a 17 year old so he might be someone that we can potentially use in the seasons to come I want to try and bring in the youth players as much as I can in this rebuild bring in the youngsters from the academy all the way through the winning hopefully the Champions League. Janssen is another one who's only 16. German right back can play centre back as well. He's another one to watch for in the seasons to come. So with that being said guys that is the squad. That is the team for season one. We're going to dive into season one now and hopefully we'll just see how it goes. I'm not too sure how it's going to go. Obviously, we've got a mixture of good players and some lower rated youngsters. So I'm not really sure how it's going to go. But there's only one way to find out. Let's dive in to season one. So here we are, guys, at the end of season one. And as you can see, Bayern Munich have finished second in the Bundesliga. 22 wins, 9 draws and 3 losses. Unfortunately, we missed out on the league behind Borussia Dortmund, who finished on 78 points. We finished on 75 we were so close to winning the league. Now, I'm actually really impressed because the squad overall wasn't the best in terms of ratings. We obviously have a few world-class players in here, but in terms of the actual ratings, I thought, you know, we might struggle, but we came second and we only lost three games in the whole league season. Holstein, Kiel and FC Pauli have been relegated to the Bundesliga 2. We started off our DFB Polka journey by a penalty win, 5-4 against Hanover. Into round three, we went and we beat Union Berlin 4-0 away from home really good result to put us into the quarterfinals we then won the quarterfinals 2-0 which puts us into the semi-finals either against Borussia Dortmund Werder Bremen or Hoffenheim oh, and unfortunately guys we came short in the semi-finals Werder Bremen beating us 2-1 and Dortmund did end up going on to win against Werder Bremen 3-0 into the Champions League now and Bayern Munich finished 11th in the league phase I think that means we go into the playoff phase for the next round this is what the top of the table looks like in terms of the league phase and we beat Jerome Corona 5-2 on aggregate to put us through to the round of 16. We then overcame Liverpool 3-1 on aggregate after a one all draw in the second leg. So that puts us into the quarterfinals of the Champions League in Season 1. And unfortunately, guys, as you can see, aggregate 3-3 against Celtic. But then Celtic did go on to win 4-2 on penalties. So that means we are out of the Champions League in the quarterfinals. And Inter Milan did end up beating Real Madrid 2-1 in the Champions League final. 
Galatasaray won 3-1 on penalties to win the Europa League in Season 1. And Fiorentina won the Europa Conference League 2-0 to claim that in Season 1. Bayer did finish on... So we're here at the end of season stats and Bayer ended up on 28 goals to assist for his first season with Bayern Munich. 81 overall now, he's gone up the ratings already, which is really good to see. Luciana now already an 89 overall. 55 games, 23 goals, and 16 assists. Really happy of the return on him. Sane with 16 goals and 12 assists. Really, really good returns for him. Goretzka from centre mid getting 11 goals and... Goretzka from central midfield getting 11 goals and 3 assists. Adiemi, one of the new signings, 11 goals and 6 assists in 42 games. Kimmich getting a few goals and assists this season, which is good to see. Muller as well. And then the rest are just squad players. Got themselves a couple of goals throughout the season. So in season 1, we didn't actually win anything, but we did come close in the Champions League and the Polka Cup. Second in the league by just a couple of points to Dortmund. It was a really positive start for this young German side. Now next season, we're going to try and aim to win the Bundesliga and try and win at least one of the cups i'm gonna go into season two now and hopefully we try and win that bundesliga title ahead of borussia dortmund without further ado let's jump into season two season two starts with a massive signing to bayern munich it is florian wertz from leverkusen wertz has come in from leverkusen for 156 million pounds it's a massive transfer fee but he is absolutely worth it. 90 overall. He can play behind the striker on the wing. I think for us, he's going to be playing on the wing because obviously Sane and Nabry are getting a bit older. Wurtz is obviously 22, but he can be able to play on either wing. And that allows Musiala to play in behind the striker. So £156 million spent on one of the best players in the league. So he is going to be joining us and improving the squad massively. 90 overall is absolutely insane. Orion Verts is the first signing of season two. I have decided, guys, for season two, we are only going to be signing Verts. I think because of how much we spent on him, I feel like because of how much we spent on him and he comes straight into the team, 90 overall, I feel like we should just keep going with the team we've got and not just sign loads of players all at once. Obviously, in season one, we kind of had to because we just didn't have enough German players in the squad. I think this team is really good in terms of the ratings now. And I don't really want to go out and splash a load of cash on loads more players. I think we've got a good squad as well as the bench and the reserves. So for now, Wurtz is the only signing of season two. And we're going to go in to season two now and see if we can try and catch Dortmund to that Bundesliga title. Try and go on a cup run and try and get ourselves back into the Champions League latter stages. Without further ado, guys, let's get into Season 2. So then, guys, we've come to the end of Season 2 and Bayern Munich have finished third. Unfortunately, we couldn't beat Dortmund to the title and Leipzig jumped above us this season. We ended on 67 points, Leipzig 69 and Dortmund on 77. So the gap has gotten bigger this season. 19 wins, 10 draws, 5 losses. We all ended up on the same losses, but we just had way too many draws. Unfortunately, we didn't win the Bundesliga this season, but we did win the German Super Cup, which means that is technically our first trophy of this Bayern German owner only rebuild we started our dfb polka cup journey with a 2-0 win against frankfurt at home quarterfinals and we won 3-1 against holstein kiel semi-finals we beat gladback 3-0 away from home so we faced leverkusen in the final we have won our first trophy with bayern the german only rebuild has kickstarted we have won the dfb polka Unfortunately, guys, we finished 19th in the league phase of the Champions League. We're going to have to try the playoffs once again. Oh, and would you look at that, guys? We lost 5-3 on aggregate to Man City. Absolutely whitewashed by the Manchester side. Newcastle United ended up winning the Champions League in Season 2. Benfica beat Chelsea after a one-all draw on penalties 4-3 to win the Europa League. Trabzonspor won the Europa Conference League 4-3 on penalties. So these are your stats for the end of Season 2. Bayer did end up as the top goal scorer once again. He's already up to an 84 overall. 34 goals, 4 assists. Verts, 25 goals, 12 assists from left midfield. Really good return on him. Musiala with 9 goals, 12 assists. Still really, really good. Only 23 years of age, so we've still got a lot of years left in him. And overall, just a lot of players getting a couple of goals here and there for the squad. Unfortunately, we didn't win the Bundesliga in Season 2, but we did win our first trophy, the DFB Polka, which is good to see. We're not performing very well in the Champions League, though. So that's something 
something we need to improve on in the seasons to come. We also need to improve our league form. I mean, we are getting in the top three every time, but we really want to try and win as many league titles as we can in this German-only rebuild. But we've got our first trophy in season two. We're going to head into season three now and try and claim the Bundesliga title. Champions League run would be really good as well. Without further ado, let's get into season three. So then, guys, we're into season three now with Bayern Munich, and we have signed a new striker. Rokoko has come in from Milan for £55 million. He will actually be a backup right now. I feel like I just needed to bring in a backup striker, but he is really, really good. 21 years of age, really nice stats. 82 overall to start with, £55 million spent. He will be the backup and rotational option in the years to come. We might actually start using him, depends how he develops. He is the first signing of season three. Our next signing is going to be a backup right back because we do need one in the coming seasons. Bagnerman has come in from Stuttgart for £20.5 million. He will be replacing Kimmich because Kimmich is obviously getting a bit older now and I think he's probably got another season, maybe two in him. The 25-year-old comes in as a backup right now. 79 overall, £20.5 million spent. 88 pace, very, very reliable off the bench if needed. But like I said, just a backup option for Kimmich as of now. We have made our final signing for season three, guys. It is going to be a new holding midfielder to play next to Pavlovich. Jonas Weber has come in for £10 million from Leipzig. Jonas Weber has come in from Leverkusen for £10 million. The 19-year-old is already 77 overall. He's going to be replacing Goretzka and play alongside Pavlovich because Goretzka is getting a bit older now. And again, kind of like Kimmich, he's probably got another season or maybe two in him before we have to start thinking about other younger players to replace. And Weber is the man that is going to be coming in for that backup central midfield role. Like I said, that is going to be the last signing of season three. I don't want to sign too many players each season. I want to try and keep to maybe like two, three, net maximum four. So as we go into season three, guys, this is going to be your team for the season. Nubel is in goal. He has come back from loan and he is going to be our starting goalkeeper, 29 years of age. Easy to overall. Best keeper we've got at the club right now. We've got Kimmich, Pisek, Schlotterbeck and Nets as the back line. Havlerch is still in the midfield role and Weber has come in to replace Goretzka, who has dropped to the bench. Still got Sane on the right. Got Verts on the left, who is absolutely killing it for us. Musiala, really. Really, really happy with him. 91 overall, 23 years of age, still absolutely insane. And we also still have Bayer up top, 23 years of age, 94 pace, 86 shoe and 87 dribbling. And he is 85 overall already. He's absolutely killing it for us. I'm so happy with the way he's turned out. Really positive signing. So that I'm really looking forward to using this team in season three. I think we've got a really good setup right now. It's so, so good. Weber comes in next to Pavlovich. Two youngsters who are going to really kick start for us in the midfield. I think they're going to develop really well at Bayern Munich. But without further ado, guys, let's dive in to season three. We're at the end of season three, guys, and as you can see, Bayern Munich have won the Bundesliga title. 23 wins, 8 draws and only 3 losses. We've scored 70 goals and only conceded 36. Ended on 77 points, a fair few ahead of Leipzig and Frankfurt. I'm really, really happy that we finally won our first Bundesliga title. I knew this squad was good enough to win it and we have done that in Season 3. We also won the Super Cup, the German Super Cup, that is 2-1 against Dortmund. So that's the second time we've won that already. And wow, guys, DFB Polka, we didn't even make it out of the second rounds. We got knocked out by Hamburg. 3-0 and Leipzig went on to win the whole thing against Gladbach 2-1 Champions League phase now and Bayern Munich actually came fifth so guys that means we go straight into the round of 16 there's no need to do the playoff phase in this season unfortunately guys we got absolutely battered by PSG 6-3 on aggregate 4-2 in the away leg PSG actually went on to get to the final, but Real Madrid beat them 2-0 to win another Champions League trophy. Roma beat Lens 4-0 in the Europa League final. And Athletic Bilbao beat Ghent 4-2 to win the Conference League in Season 3. So here are the stats for the end of the season. Bear is up to an 87 overall. 32 goals for him this season. I'm absolutely blown away of how good he's been for us. Age 24 as well. He's got a lot of improvement to do. Yala, 93 overall now. 20 goals, 15 assists. Burtz from the left-hand side, 10 goals, 10 assists in 48 games. Dane getting amongst the goals as well, 8 goals and 7 assists. Isek from centre-back actually getting 7 goals this season. And then the rest of the players that play getting a couple of goals here and there. Weber, the new signing, got his first goal for the club in his first season. It's good to see. 
So yeah, guys, that is the end of Season 3. We have finally ticked off the Bundesliga title. We're going to hopefully try and get at least one more of them before we do end this rebuild. We've won the Polka Cup. We've won the German Super Cup. And we've also won the Bundesliga now. So we're only after that Champions League trophy, if we can get it. I would also like to try and add another domestic cup and, like I said, the Bundesliga as well. The main goal now is to try and get into that Champions League final. So without further ado, guys, we're going to head into Season 4 now. And hopefully continue our success from Season 3 into the new season. The signing of season four is here, guys, and we've decided to bring in a new left back to Bayern Munich. Tom Roth has come in for 30 million from Union Berlin. Like I said, guys, I need the new left back. I wanted to have some backup options, but I really do think uh, Roth will actually start for us. 22 years of age, 30 million pounds spent, 79 overall already. I think it's a big improvement from the left back we already... I think it's a big improvement from the left back we currently have. The next signing comes from Real Madrid. A new centre-back has come in. This is going to be one for the future for sure. Phil Schulz has come in for 20.2 million pounds from Real Madrid. 18 years of age, 75 overall already. 74 pace for a centre-back, which is really good. He paid his release clause for 20 million. He will be the back of option because I think Schlotterbeck is getting a bit older, but he is going to be the main man still. The Schlules comes in as a back of option for the centre-back role. So there we have it, guys. That is going to be the only transfers for Season 4. Like I said in the previous seasons, I don't want to spend too much money. or well, it's not even the money. I just don't want to sign too many players. I think our squad is getting really, really good now. I'm only really, really trying to buy players for the future in future seasons. As you can see on the screen, this is the team for Season 4. Some of these players are looking absolutely insane, like Musiala, Wurtz, Schlotterbeck. To Beck at the back, Sarney on the right with Kimmich as well. So we're really looking forward to this season. So we've already won the DFB Polka Cup, we've won the Bundesliga title now, and we've won two German Super Cups. So we've got four trophies to our name. We're still hunting the Champions League, of course. And we really want to try and add as many trophies as we can in this rebuild. German only rebuild so far. I've actually been really enjoying it. Something a bit different. I'm gonna try and do as many rebuild style challenges. And I'm gonna try and start doing as many challenge videos as I can with these rebuilds. I want to try and put as many blockers and more challenges in to make it a bit more interesting to play and also more enjoyable for you guys to watch instead of just a normal rebuild but for now we're going to continue with this german only Bayern munich rebuild without further ado let's dive into season four we've come to the end of season four guys and as you can see leverkusen won the bundesliga this season we had just nine points adrift of catching leverkusen there so we didn't get back-to-back -back bundesliga titles unfortunately guys we ended on 22 wins, 7 draws and 5 losses for the season. We also won the Super Cup for the third time in a row, so that's three German Super Cups. For Bayern Munich, we beat Leipzig 5-3 on penalties after a 2-2 draw. We started our DFB Polka journey in round 2, we beat Leipzig 3-1 at home. Into the third round we went and VFL Bochum were the team we faced and we absolutely battered them 4-0 away from home. Quarter final time and we beat Hansa Rostock. 4-0 at home. I think, is that a second or third division team? I'm not too sure. But we beat them 4-0. Put us into the semi-finals. We beat Hamburg 2-1 to make the final of the DFB Polka. We will be playing Cologne in the final. And we beat Cologne 1-0 to win our second DFB Polka of this German-only rebuild with Bayern Munich. One league title, two DFB Polkas and three German Super Cups so far for this German side. Once again, we finished fifth in the league phase of the Champions League, so we skipped the playoffs once again. We dive straight into the round of 16. And unfortunately, guys, PSV beat us 4-3 on aggregate, which means we are knocked out of the Champions League final once again at the round of 16 stage. So we're not really progressing much in the Champions League, which is quite annoying. But nevertheless, we are doing well in the domestic league and the domestic trophy and the domestic cups as well. Inter Milan did actually go on to win the Champions League 3-1 against Atletico Madrid. Tottenham finally won their first ever trophy as they beat Ren 2-1 in the Europa League. Mallorca beat... Lazio 2-0 in the Conference League final to win that in Season 4. Once again, Bayer is our top goal scorer. He's now a 90 overall, 34 goals this season. Absolutely insane pickup. I'm really happy the way he's developed for Bayern Munich. Florian Verts, again, 25 goals, 11 assists. Musiala, 25 goals and 14 assists. Look at that, 95 overall for Musiala now. Sane is now 32, still getting the goals, 11 goals and 12 assists for him. Kimmich, who's 33, also getting some goals, 5 goals and 5 assists. Bisek as well, getting another 4 goals this season. He's now an 86 overall. So we've picked up another trophy in this German-only rebuild of Bayern Munich, the DFB Polka for the second time and the German Super Cup for the third time. 
unfortunately just missed out on the league title and we're just not progressing very well in the Champions League but hopefully next season we could try and get a better finish in the Champions League hopefully try and get another league title if we can without further ado let's get into season five so here we are at season five guys and I've only made one signing for season five Nick Kruger has come in for 25.2 million pounds from Hanover he's a young right midfielder Nabry is retiring at the end of the season, so I needed a new backup right midfielder. And Sarney is 33, so he's probably got one more season until he starts declining. The only signing, like I mentioned, in Season 5. Didn't really feel like I needed to make many improvements to the squad because the squad is really looking good. As you can see, guys, this is the squad for Season 5. Really like the look of this team. Like I said, it's unchanged. It's unchanged from last season because it's really, really good. Lubel in goal, 84 overall. He's actually turned into a really good player for us. Kimmich, 89. Probably his last season starting for us because he's going to start declining in the ratings. But for now, still the captain, 89 overall. Isek is 86. Schlotterbeck, 90. And then and then we've got Musiala, 95 rated with Wurtz, 93. And Sane still doing the job for us on the wing, 87 overall. So that will be the team for season five. Like I said, it's an unchanged lineup. And I really do think we can try and push on and win another league title and i really hope we can try and get into the champions league final this season some squad to do it with without further ado let's get into season five so we're at the end of season three guys and as you can see bayern munich finished third in the bundesliga 70 points behind leipzig and leverkusen 73 and 74 points respectively it was actually a really close bundesliga season we're only four points off getting our second bundesliga of this german only rebuild unfortunate for us 20 wins 10 draws four losses for the whole season in the bundesliga we won our our fourth German Super Cup once again. We've been Leverkusen 2-1. Just to add another trophy to this rebuild. DFB Polka, we started in round two. We beat Dynamo Dresden. 2-1 away from home and then Leverkusen knocked us out in the third round 2-1 so we crash out in the third round unfortunately in the DFB Polka league phase now in the Champions League and Bayern Munich have finished third that's our highest finish in the league phase so far in this rebuild really really good improvement from last season so we're in the round of 16 straight away and we start off by beating Inter Milan 4-1 on aggregate so we finally made it to the quarterfinals of the Champions League oh we just about beat Arsenal 4-3 on aggregate 4-2 victory at home and it sees us go into the semi-finals of the champions league guys for the first time of this rebuild and then we beat roma 3-1 on aggregate which means we will face liverpool in the champions league final and there you go guys liverpool versus bayern munich in 2029 the champions league the last trophy we need to complete this german only rebuild well, we do get into the Champions League final. Napoli beat Leipzig 1-0 to win the Europa League. Bologna beat Man United 4-2 on penalties after a 1-0 draw to win the Conference League in Season 5. So look at the stats here, guys. End of Season 5. Bayer is up to a 93 overall. He's got 35 goals this season. He's absolutely insane. What an absolute insane striker. I'm so happy with the way he's turned out. Every season, he just seems to keep improving, and I'm really, really happy. Sane, he's like down to an 85 now. He's 33 years old. His last season with us so hopefully we can just win the champions league for sane that's also doing very well 94 overall now 17 goals 11 assists for him musiala 16 goals 14 assists 96 overall now he's gonna be the key man to win us the champions league i am sure of it Kimmich, 87 overall still here 34 years of age the captain will lead us out in that champions league final and the rest of the team are just the squad players and players that don't really score that many goals for us so without further ado guys this is going to be your champions league final so without further ado guys this is going to be your champions league lineup for season five the champions league final is here against liverpool new berlin goal Kimmich at right back, Bissek and Schlotterbeck at centre back, Roth at left back, Pavlovic and Weber in the central midfield role, Verts, Sane, Musiala as the attacking three, and Bayer is going to be the one leading the line, the 93 overall. He is absolutely insane. I'm so happy with the way this team has turned out. We have finally gotten ourselves to the Champions League final of this German only Bayern Munich team, which I'm very happy with. But we do have one more job, guys. We need to be Liverpool in the final to win the Champions League trophy. Without further ado, guys, we're going to get straight into this final and see if we can finally lift that Champions League trophy. Down the line to Sane. Sane is in here attacking the back line of Liverpool. Can he square it now to Musiala? And it's over the crossbar and wide. Verts has got the ball. Can he chip it through to Bayer? Bayer with the strike. Oh, he's put it wide. How has he missed that? Here comes Verts now down this left-hand side. The pace is there. It's Verts. Can he get the shot away? Verts with the save. Musiala, that's great defending. Sane. Can we find Musiala again? Plays it to Bayer. Bayer's in in the Champions League final. Bayer! 
He's got a goal to put Bayern Munich up 1-0 in this Champions League final against Liverpool. Jamal Musiala, absolutely amazing work from him. He's won the ball back. He's played the, played the ball back into the middle. As you've seen here, Musiala back into Bayer. And he smashes it into that top right-hand corner to put Bayern Munich up. 1-0 in this Champions League final. Oh, that's a lovely play. Once again, Musiala is through on goal. Jamal Musiala surely finishes it, and he does. It's 2-0 to Bayern Munich. Jamal Musiala, what a player he is. An absolutely insane bit of play once again. The two men up front linking up together. Ball played through. No one's catching Musiala, and he slots it into the corner to put Bayern Munich 2 0 up against Liverpool. Havlovic plays it out wide to Verts. Verts to Musiala. That's a great ball into Florian Verts. Trent misses the tackle. Verts is going to cut inside. Verts with the strike. Verts. Oh my God. What a goal from Florian Verts. Absolutely insane run from the left hand side in his own half all the way to the byline. Cuts it inside. So mashes it into the top right hand corner past the keeper. And Bayern Munich are absolutely smashing Liverpool right now in this Champions League final. Wurtz and Musiala are running the show right now. And that should surely give Bayern Munich two hands on the Champions League trophy. Florian Wurtz smashes it. What an insane goal that was. But there's literally seconds left of this final. Verts now down the left hand side again. That's lovely. Can he find Musiala? Musiala? Musiala! And he's put it wide, but it does not matter because Bayern Munich have won the Champions League final against Liverpool. 3 0. What an insane result that is for Bayern Munich. Musiala, Bayer, and Verts getting the goals to conclude this rebuild. German only rebuild with Bayern Munich. Musiala turned into an absolutely insane player. Really like using Sane as well. I think he was really key for us. Obviously, Wurz as well. Schlotterbeck and Bissek, two centre backs, were absolutely solid together. Really, really good partnership created. And Bayer, the main man up top. What an absolutely insane pickup he is. I'll shout out to him. Recommendation for him if you want to pick up him in career mode. Honestly, really, really good player. So we have won the Bundesliga. The DFB Polka twice, the German Super Cup four times, and now Bayern Munich can officially say they have won the Champions League in this German only rebuild. Kimmich, the captain, will lift the Champions League trophy for Bayern Munich to end this German only rebuild of Bayern Munich. I've had a really good time doing this. I'm going to try and make a lot more challenge type rebuilds instead of just the normal rebuilds that I do. I'll try, I'll do both, obviously. But if you want to let me know some suggestions in the comments, give me some type of challenge rebuild you want me to do. Certain nations, putting teams in different leagues, certain star rated teams or the lowest rated teams or stuff like that. would be really helpful in the comments. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy this type of rebuild. Comment any teams you want me to rebuild normally or any challenge type rebuilds you can offer. It would be really appreciated and it only helps the channel grow. Subscribe if you're new around here. I really appreciate the support so far on FC25. It's been insane on the channel. And without further ado, the German only rebuild of Bayern Munich is officially complete. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.